treats most of these poops with training, but um, so, I'm wearing a shirt now. So, oh my god, what are you doing? Alright, so you can see my screen? Yep. Okay, so here's how this works. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn on a... Um, well, all right. First, we're gonna we're gonna start with we're gonna start with um, so pink noise, right? If you turn it on, um, there we go. So I got pink noise running through my system right now, and um, it is supposed to be this green line that's flat, right? And yeah, mostly flat, right? So, gotcha. what I've done, it's actually not flat. What, what I have is a reference microphone, and so coming out of my speaker, my reference microphone kind of looks like this. And we pretend that my reference microphone is flat, but like my room, I got a lot of freaking bass in it and, and all this stuff. So, if I turn up. Oh, is that because the sub? Is that because the big sub? Yeah. Okay. So, so gotcha. yeah, like. The, the cool thing about this is, like, I can actually look at... I want to get rid of that red shit. Um, and it'll tell me how uh, how much of all this stuff I have, right? So, like, right here, this is around 700 hertz, right? But way down here, this is, like, 20 hertz. And then, so, see, Sophie's walking upstairs, and you can hear it was going way through the roof, whatever. And up here is 20... Yeah, it, 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 it looks like... A, a retarded Magnum PI mustache. Right. So, 20, uh, 20,000 hertz way up here, right? Uh, so, we hear from this all the way up to this. And so, what I can do is I can make this program, like, flatten it out. Uh, and say, you know what? It's supposed to look flat. Boom. Be, be flat. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Why aren't you being flat? Stupid. But, but we hate flat noise. I hate it. Right. Well, but we're we're measuring, though. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we hate we hate flat curves in our playback systems, which is why, in reality, it looks like this. But in um, uh, in the world of measuring things, it's hard to imagine. Well, wait a second. What's Clint's microphone really look like? Oh, wait. Does it really look like that? Well, no. It doesn't really look like that because. This isn't flat, and that's what I'm comparing it against. It's Clint's microphone versus the reference. So if I come in here and I, I tell that to be flat, um, then this is what your your microphone's uh, reference looks like, right? That's that's kind of uh, I'm sorry. This is what your microphone's curve looks like. So okay, so that that's the mic for my phone. No, this is the microphone. Um, that you uh, you sent that rock Rockville audio. Oh. God, it looks awful, dude. Well, so here's what an SM58 looks like, right? So it looks damn near close to an SM58, which I have right now. Like all this stuff is happening right now. Um, the SM58 is the purple one, right? And so it's got a little bit better higher end right here, but then it drops way off. Like an SM58 doesn't get up into the 20k it just doesn't do it and then down here it's got a little bump right so yours is going to sound really bright and probably pretty good through here here let me turn it up a little bit yeah so there's the pink noise um which kind of made it a little better like made so we don't have to listen to that noise this whole time. I actually uh, ended up like taking a, a, a screenshot of, of your stuff. So there's uh, the 58. Here's Clint's um, microphone versus the reference. Oh, what are, what are all these things? Um, so there's. Okay, so it drops off on the high end and the low end. Well. Um, Hold on, I, let me let me re recapture it because I I uh, I screwed up. I'm gonna turn everything back on and turn on my pink noise. Say that. Oh, here's my pink noise. There we go. And I'm gonna make mine flat again. All right. 
So there we go. So now. So which one is mine? Is the pink one? So yours um, is. Let me just find. Yours is the white one, right there. So this white one right here. Um, Man, so for fifty bucks, that is not bad. I mean, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, it's not that bad. Like, um, if if your gold standard, if you know your regular rock and roll mic is is the the purple one, an SM58 right here. You know, it's got way better um, high end, right? Uh, then uh, then it's got uh, low end, right? So the um, 58's got a little better low end, like even like down here, there's a little bump at 170 or something like that. Although if we're looking at it, the little red stuff up there, that's that's how much it's lying about it. So yeah, I don't know, I'd believe it mostly. The I, high end, I yeah. would too. I would too. Yeah. There's there's nothing wrong with that though. I mean, it dude, it's way better than what he's got now. I mean, yeah, for fifty bucks it's it's got much better high end up here than a than a fifty eight. So for a recording mic you could you could do vocals with it. Um and then let's see the drop off down here. You could do acoustic guitar with it. I would not record a bass with it. Um, you know, higher end stuff like flutes and uh, what are, what are those things? Uh, violins and stuff that's kind of high. Mandolin would be good. Like French horn. If you wanted to maybe try and use this as a uh, uh, you know capturing like overheads, hi hats, and and uh, you know for drums and stuff. Do not use it for a kick drum mic. Um, Dude, it would blow it out. <laughs> well, it just it just wouldn't capture the low end very well. Uh, and then don't use it for you know piano maybe. Um, although he's going to be mainly doing keyboards, so I don't know, man. Uh, it's um it's pretty cool for for what it is. Um, so anyway, I've I've been screen recording this. I hope it's okay. Uh, because I just wanted to throw this up on YouTube and see if I get any hits. Uh, no, dude, absolutely. I, you know, I've, I've been trying to get back into the video conference. I'm, I, Viber confuses me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I bounced out for a second and um, because I got a text message. But no, dude, absolutely re record it. You, you have my permission. Cool, cool. Yeah, it's. Uh, I didn't really look at how loud it'll get or anything like that. It actually seems to be a little bit more sensitive, or way more sensitive than my reference mic. Like, if I look at everything's supposed to be the same level, your mic is got a gain of forty uh, with this little focus right thing, and my mic's got forty-seven, and the fifty-eight is all the way up to fifty-two. So, yours is Jesus more Christ. sensitive. Yeah. And the and the noise floors actually look pretty similar too. And I can I can jump over to let me turn all this shit off. Hold on, hold on. Uh, Stand by. Noise floor of my reference mic. There's the noise floor of your mic. So see, yours is better than mine. I I can't see shit right now, but uh... there's like a little yeah. It's way. I mean, at the low end. I mean that kind of. Uh, kind of figures because the low end of your mic's a little bit different but yeah this little purple line down here is definitely your noise floor so um, okay so so for 50 bucks it's not the worst thing in the world right right no no it's it's great actually um yeah i wonder how the hell do i get out of sharing screens from viber any ideas yeah dude i I'm confused as hell right now. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. There we go. Matt, to... something. Ah, oh, there you go. Now I can see you. Yeah, yeah. So, dude, Grizzly Adams. Yeah. Come I, on. I, 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 I know. <laughs> does your beard not scratch you up? It does, and I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of it. I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm thinking about maybe shaving it off, but yeah. Uh, you know, I was thinking last night. I wish I could use the uh, the razor that you that you do, um, mm -hmm. because I have the same razor. 
Yeah. Well, I think you've replaced it once, right? Yeah. Okay. So yours is probably way newer than me. Okay. Now I'm looking at a grid. Right, right. This is my, uh, this is my, um, uh, we're back to the, looking at the stuff that we, we took pictures of. Um, oh man, that's real close. That's real close. Oh, this is phase. Yeah, don't don't get uh, don't get too excited about that. Hold on, let me let me. Let, it's magnitude that we actually have to look at. There we go. Not as close anymore. I mean, basically, if if you look back at the phase thing, I, in order to measure these, um, you kind of have to have them aligned. And in this program, well, and even in reality, that is darn near almost dead on with the phase i i i really knocked it out of the park there i don't know if you could tell no it, it looks it looks sexy <laughs> dude i never thought that i would look at two lines and be like that's sexy yeah it's pretty good it's pretty good you got a you got a good little mic there so okay well cool man um next time you come up bring it with you and we'll put it back in the studio and and uh you know get it set up and all that good stuff or keep it if you want to. Nah, I'll give it back because uh, I I got too much junk here. But yeah, man, he needs to he needs to have that in his studio and, and see how he likes it. Well, did did you hear him sing a couple of chords when he was there? No, no, I didn't. Um, may, maybe you were peeing or something. But <laughs> um, we we plugged it in and he sang it. Uh, you know what? It may have been Chris. Chris came over. Oh yeah. Um. But dude, it sounded great in the control room. It huh. sounded great. Huh. Um, I'm I'm weirdly knocked out by the cheapness of these mics and the fact that they come with the uh, you know anti shock, the anti gravity. Yeah. You know they come with everything you need. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah, it's well, actually pretty pretty easy to use too. I've the the little anti shock the shock mount. Um, I don't know how good it is. Uh, it looks like it's okay, but the uh, yeah, that shock mount. Um, it's got little little levers on it that you kind of squeeze and it opens it up and lets you slide it in. Uh, I don't know if you've ever tried to do that with the Audio Technica like forty thirty three or forty fifty, but it is, it's like trying to get a rubber band out of a little girl's hair. It's just a pain. <laughs> That the, sounds like a nightmare. And the Neumanns <laughs> and the and even the roads, you have to screw on the bottom, and you can cross thread them, and that's kind of a nightmare in its own. So this is, I'm I'm glad they did this. This is actually, I think the newer roads actually do a better job of, but the old NT1, the very first ones, uh, uh, I actually stripped. One, I couldn't. I had to. I think we had to saw it off. We it got so Are cross you stripped. Shitting yeah, me, dude. I had two NT1s. Yeah, yeah. So. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to post this on the YouTubes and see if uh, people like it. Yeah, man, absolutely. Um, definitely. And and don't worry about using my likeness. I don't care. All Nobody's right. going to recognize me anyway. <laughs> cool. Right on. All right, man. Uh, I'll, uh, let, I'm going to hang up from here, and then I'll call you back on, on a real phone. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye.